why people with normal cholesterol still have heart attacks. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. High cholesterol is a cardinal risk factor for heart attack and heart disease and stroke, but it's not the only factor. There are other factors, and one of the other big factors is what's called endothelial dysfunction. It's a big word. What is endothelial dysfunction? Well, it has to do with this physiology. Um, normally, if tissues in the body require more oxygen, then that, the blood vessel seems to know that, and it releases nitric oxide, which in turn opens the blood vessel up or dilates it, allowing more blood to get to the target tissue to give it the oxygen and nutrients that it needs. So an example would be, let's say you start to jog or you get on a stationary bike using the elliptical machine and, the, and you start to increase in terms of doing some aerobic exercise. The heart muscle's working more, so the, there's more release of nitric oxide in the coronary arteries. They dilate the blood vessels to bring more oxygen to the heart muscle. That's normal endothelial uh, function. So what's endothelial dysfunction? It means that the arteries don't respond properly. They remain constricted, and that's how angina would occur. For oh, I'm getting chest pain because the arteries are not able to dilate anymore. That's one example. So, but it's really, it's not enough oxygen getting to the tissues, which can lead to things like angina. Also, transient ischemic attacks in the brain are from endothelial dysfunction. Men who can't get an erection, they have erectile dysfunction, partly due to endothelial dysfunction. And we see other problems that are related to endothelial dysfunction. So what causes this problem? Why can't these blood vessels release the right amount of nitric oxide to allow more blood to flow to those tissues if it's necessary? Well, certain things can hinder that. The, uh, uncontrolled diabetes hinders it. Smoking cigarettes hinders it. Not exercising regularly, you slowly re uh, decrease your body's ability to respond properly. Being overweight it, it decreases en uh, endothelial function. Having high blood pressure also produces endothelial dysfunction. So improving lifestyle behaviors obviously will help to keep your blood vessels functioning properly in terms of normal endothelial function. But here's something else to know. Certain supplements have been shown to improve endothelial dysfunction or help to reverse it. Antioxidant supplements, the right dosage of vitamin C and vitamin E and quercetin, proven to help improve endothelial function. The same is true with the B vitamin folic acid and the use of essential fatty acids, borage seed, flax seed, fish oil, which I always stress should be in, in one capsule, take two to three capsules a day. Also the combination of hawthorn with CoQ10 also improves endothelial function. So as you age, the truth is, because cardiovascular disease increases, there's a greater likelihood. Some of these supplements become increasingly important as you get older uh, because they have important implications for heart attack and stroke prevention. So to really understand it, click on the link below. Read my short review article on this subject, Why Heart Attacks Occur in Patients with Normal Cholesterol. It's a really important aspect to understand in terms of longevity and disease-free survival for the longest period of time and being healthy and functional. Now at machinohealth.com, you'll see my other research review papers and teaching materials and, and footage from my live seminars. All my research review papers and teaching materials have all the scientific references in them, so you know you're getting only evidence-based information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. And I also have a lot of you know, user-friendly uh, resources and downloads and other videos that are quick educational sound bites to give you some really quality information. So you should use machinohealth.com. It's an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.